Lack and Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of September 2021. Mushroom season is here and Lek enjoys to go to the forest and the mountain to hunt some mushrooms. Mushroom hunter. So this is the harvest from this morning. A lot of chilies, still a lot of chilies. And even though we have a lot of passion fruit on the ground all around, then we actually also have a lot of passion fruit still hanging on the plants all around very wet season so you can see that the water is all around here and also one thing with the bamboo structures or bamboo benches or bamboo beds is that we have bricks under the the feet of the bamboo so even though it's sometimes we get a lot of rain and even though we don't have any heavy machines the water is still uh, has a sometimes hard time to be soaked into the water it's because here it's like the, all the water is going down here because there's a little like a hole here so from the higher areas all the water will stay here and then it will take maybe a half day or a day to be soaked into the ground but in some areas of the world the soil is so compacted that the water never soaks into the soil or, or goes down into the soil it will just evaporate because the sun will hit the, 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 the water and it will just evaporate into the atmosphere again and then they will not save the water for the drier periods but here this water will be soaked in most areas of the garden because we have a grass and we, we never turn the soil so the so soil is able to absorb a lot more water and because of most of the garden is covered with greens the 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 water will not evaporate uh, as fast as other areas so the water will be able to s go down into the soil before it evaporates eventually so there is much more water saved in in a setup like this this is why it's so important to have uh, coverage of the ground and never have bare soil or have as few areas with bare soil as possible and also like with the bamboo they have the bamboo structure on bricks then they they will last lo much longer because if we just put the bamboo structure on the ground or in the ground eventually it will rot or there will be some kind of animals some insects that will eat the 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 bamboo like termites or powder post beetles and stuff like that. Powder post be beetles and termites are like the main problems here in Northern Thailand, especially here in Lee, in this garden. September and we still have longans, so we can uh, eat for breakfast or whatever. So these are really nice. You can go around different trees and pick them still because it has been a really hard year for, for the longan farmers. The problem this year has been that like they blame the coronavirus or the COVID because uh, they say they cannot export the, the longans and and the price is very low and the farmers are like unhappy and everybody it's it's very hard for for people if they like depend they, they, they maybe their only income is from longan so so one time a year they try to harvest longan and try to get a, like a huge income but then the distributors and uh, factories they lower the price because maybe they cannot do anything with it with the product and yeah it's a little bit sad but um, that's why it's very important to diversify not only have one type of fruit but have different types of fruit and also have some food you can eat and for me it has been like uh, two months where I can eat uh, long and every day which is super nice for me so for me it doesn't affect uh, much but um, I know that others are very affected by this and one other and not so nice thing about this month is that everybody is harvesting these so so they are trying to sell whatever they can and when they harvest them they of course they break uh, they, they, they break the branch and then they have a lot of branches on the ground and instead of making compost they do what do what they burn it so we have like a mini burning season in Lee so I have like a couple of days where I need to go in my secure area where I have my air purifier like where 
that's where I sleep. But uh, some days I need to go there and just be there inside and do some yoga and other stuff and play with my phone or whatever. Um, so it's not so fortunate because the air quality is just super bad at times. And it's just very, very local. Um, and it just disappears very fast. So it's like maybe a couple of hours per day. So it's not that bad, but still annoying. So it would be much nicer if they just didn't burn the, 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 the leaves and the branches from the longan and just made compost instead. That would be nice for everybody and even healthier and better for the, for the longans. So, yeah. But what is good about the rain also? The rain gives us a lot of water. We need to save a lot of water in the soil for the dry season because we might have six months coming up without any rain. So it's very nice that we have a lot of water and very moist. Uh, you can, and also very nice to like you can dig up a banana uh, plant and just uh, replant it somewhere, and you can just dig a hole. It's just super easy in the dry season. Um, like the soil is so hard, you can just you could take a half hour to dig a hole, and now it's just like whoop whoop whoop. You can just uh, take a shovel and just shovel it up. You don't even need a like a hack. To do it, so it's 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 just very good time to plant trees and other plants. So the rain is good because of that, and also because it cleans the air. So we have like many nights. Also, we have zero uh, on the PM 2.5 scale. So the air is super pure at times and super dirty at times. So so the rain is really helps. Imagine if it was dry. <laughs> Uh, and we didn't have any rain and they were still burning the branches from longan trees. It would be horrible, completely, super bad. But now it's just like, okay, it's a bit annoying and then the rain comes and cleans the air and everything is fine. So that's why I love the rain. And I have a, if you want to <laughs> see another video where I talk about rain, you can, uh, I think you can search on this, um, the YouTube channel for rain and then you will, uh, you'll find it. Uh, yes, rain. And I know that some people really don't like rain and uh, I just say to them try six months without rain and you will love the rain forever. And of course some of the longans, the, more, the longer you wait to pick the longans, some of them like start to, the, the, the taste and the sweetness starts to fade out and they become a little bit bland. But you can find many, many, many of them are really nice to eat anyway and very sweet. It's just like the, the, the longans will ripen gradually. They, they don't ripen all at the same time. And that's why you can just have longans for two months and eat them from the trees. It's very nice. Naruto is resting together with the mosquitoes. Bananas. I think I ate the last mango from this tree. No more mangoes. I ate the last mango from this tree this morning. In this area we have the, the beans growing. And yeah, in here in the background, you can see that the bamboo, like if they have still have the skin, then they're completely new. And then they grow during this season, the, the last couple of weeks or months. They just grow insanely fast. We were just on the other side over here and you could see the bamboo. And I just moved a little bit further away. You can see some of the tops up there they're fresh bamboo they're just just as high as the other ones they're not as strong as the other ones the older ones but they are just like they are already this height i don't know how many meters that is it's uh maybe 10 meters or something like that it's crazy the red cavendish are already um, moved some of the young children to other spots in the garden it's very easy just to do right now. Actually, this one in the middle is um, also ready to, to, to take, but I just want to wait for this one to, uh, to give fruit first before I dig around much here. And as you can see, I, we already harvested one, one uh, red cavendish here, so it's uh, composting around there. I'll show you how the red cavendish looks like a bit later. And this red cavendish is fruiting too up there as you can see and the idea is that they are not in the perfect spot because after we planted the the red cavendish there was like a, um, a storage building 
built just uh, behind it and it's not optimal because they they touch the roof so I'm just removing as many of them as, as possible and moving them in other places of the garden so this will be provide like children of uh, for replanting in other areas of the garden so it's very nice on the left side you can see the neighbors they are growing they actually hired the mountain people to come and 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 and, and grow uh, corn so they rent the land to mountain people who grow corn among the the mangoes they're growing so this is a way for Thai people to get the um, some income and the little not so good thing is that they use um, herbicides to kill the weed and as you can see um, this is how it looks like they completely wither away and yeah I try to create a border here without any chemicals so I'm, I'm trying to maintain the border area with the, the grass cutter the weed whacker as, as much as I can so they won't spray in, 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 in this area, in the, on the right side. Here you can see some bean plants growing all around. And because we don't make a bamboo, um, bamboo structure for them to grow on, or a different other structure, then they just grow all over the place. So this makes uh, keeping tr uh, track with the weeds a bit hard, but it doesn't really matter much because they can grow anyway. But the the problem is sometimes that we are not able to find the beans when there's overgrowth of um, of weeds. So sometimes it might be better just to have some kind of structure to keep them um, in place and we can cut the weeds all around. Right now it's a little bit hard to cut the weeds but um, I'm trying uh, to help the beans as much as I can. Say hello to Mimi and Momo. I think Mimi, the girl, over there is pregnant, which is not the best thing. And Momo, who is uh, the boy, is not so doesn't fancy the bananas that much. But uh, and then Naruto comes, and he is not fond of the the <laughs> the other dog. He doesn't eat the food. He does not doesn't like other dogs around here. Naruto, bad boy. Yeah, Naruto, you can you can leave Mimi and Momo alone when they try to eat something. It would be much easier for everybody. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. See your friends now, right? But not until they try to eat something. Then you don't allow them. Papayas coming up. Same like last month. No papayas around in this season. But they're just uh, charging up the sugars. And then they will be very nice in what do we say November maybe October already but November November December January a lot of papayas we had some uh, issues with the water so we didn't have water for a day or so so I needed to dig a temporary toilet hole which is uh, nice to have when you don't have water so here's a completely cool toilet so around here and on, on behind we we have we, t I, we tried to grow some pumpkin, but right now there's only beans and there's only one pumpkin around here uh, growing. But otherwise I needed to just uh, cut it down because it was just like overgrown with, uh, with weeds. Unwanted plants. It was a little bit too much. So yeah, the harvest was uh, not the best uh, for, for the pumpkin this year, but, um, but yeah, we got some, some, some good pumpkin and yeah, I don't know what's, what went wrong this year, but uh, I'm happy that I'm not a pumpkin farmer and rely only on pumpkin, because if this was a big field with pumpkin and I didn't really get any yield on that, that I would be very sad. But right now it's just a fun project, so that's fine. Also young shoots, a lot of, we ate a lot of young shoots from the greens from the, from the pumpkin plants, that's nice too. Pumpkins from the new land. And one of the last custard apples. In, in this season, almost ready. Tomorrow it's ready. But these, we have had so many, I couldn't keep up with eating them. Having so much custard apple that you need to compost them, then you know you, you are in the right place. Custard apples are just sweet and juicy and they just have a lot of seeds, but it doesn't matter. It's just like a very nice, very good taste. I. The, 
very nice apples. The unwanted plants have been cut in the new land and Blake is still trying to grow all kinds of plants and trees and palms, date palms from seed. Date palms from seed is not the best but uh, fun anyway. The other day when I was cutting the grass around here or the unwanted plants or the weeds around a mango tree there was a Apparently a wasp nest or something. Then there were like two wasps just stinging me on the arm and in the ear. So I already have a vaccine, two vaccines from wasps and I the other day also got uh, stings from wasps. So I think those are the best vaccines from wasps and red ants and stuff like that. If anyone asks if I got the vaccine already, wasps and ants, red ants, Big black ants, everything. I've got it all. So don't worry about me. Here we have a view from the old headquarters into the into the new land over there. You can see that tree is a tamarind tree. And in this season, Lake has, or this month, uh, there are fresh new tamarinds. Very young tamarinds. They're very sour. And you can use them to make uh, nice uh, papaya salads and cucumber salads. Very sour stuff. So it's very nice also to use the tamarind to make a dish. Let's see if we can find a tamarind in here. So this is a, a tamarind. This is a tamarind fruit. I don't think it's ripe yet but you can use it for you can use it to um, for making food that needs to be sour so actually you you crack it open and this is how it looks like it's completely too young because the seeds are are not mature and then what you can do you can stomp them I don't know if you wash them or you take off the outer skin I think you can just uh, clean them and then you can just stomp these into your food very cool thing but right now we have tons of lime still so no need for extra sourness but the sourness from the from the limes and the these tamarind is like crazy insane uh, my old red Cavendish patch where the mother died and then there are like two new ones and then we have another one I planted some time ago and then also the other one that was already planted is really growing well look how big it is very good area here and some of the banana plant protectors protecting I think there's still one avocado or something growing somewhere around here which is cool and banana protectors over here and there's probably a durian growing over there yes inside the cave the banana cave there is a durian growing very nice clearing the border to the neighbors so they don't spray around here or whatever i'm not sure how they will handle the unwanted plants this time in their mango garden as long as they don't burn it or don't spray then I'm happy they can just leave it like this I don't care and when it looks like this I need to take the big machine and start cutting the, the unwanted grass because otherwise people get angry here uh, Red Cavendish is having fun with some bean plants here we have chilies like a small almost round chilies they are very fun but look at how many there are they're very super mega spicy and here are the more standard ones there are like also a lot of them here I mean we don't eat so oh yeah, at least I don't eat another red Cavendish I think it was this month we harvested the Tang Mo the watermelon around here and yeah, it was average. I think it was a little bit overripe, which is super hard to know when watermelons are ripe. But otherwise, we're growing some, there were some mushrooms, some straw mushrooms around here, which was also very nice, very nice for, for dinner. And like most of these, I don't think we had a single pumpkin in this area. I have the compost area nearby the the rice straw so I can just take the rice straw and put on top of the uh, food scraps around here and then the cool thing is when you put food scraps with seeds in them you can see there's a papaya here 
pop papaya over there. There's growing one, two, three mangoes around here. And it's just super nice, so things are growing. Very easy to grow new trees and stuff in a compost pile. They really like it, they grow very well here. And another red Cavendish. And the last thing we can do is say goodbye to the long ants because they will not be here next month. A lot of ants also. And maybe you can see that um, this is a long gun. And some of them actually start to, to sprout, the seeds already sprouting. At this stage, the there's still a little bit sweetness, but it's almost gone. I think uh, the the seed is already taking out all the sugars to grow the new longan tree. And then we can just take it out, then you can plant another longan tree. And it will not grow. <laughs> Maybe it will. Nobody knows. So that's it. Another longan. Also very nice. But the the, the best thing about this month probably was the, the custard apples. The custard apples were like whew, mega nice.